Hello YouTube and all my guys at 569. This is my dual core reactor that I was going to show off. Um, basically, I think a lot of you guys on the server don't see me build a whole lot, so uh, this is my way of showing that I'm not completely retarded. Um, first we'll just have a look at some of the interface and then we'll go into some of the technical side of things. Um, so yeah, basically it's dual core reactor. Uh, it's fed by ice. This reactor is on, this reactor is off. Uh, that's an indicator light to show which reactor is on. Um, that's the overheater. So if it overheats, it's the emergency kill switch. Uh, you can see this little bit here. When the reactor is full, the ice uh, shoots straight down the hole and then it goes back into the system, gets sucked up, go, makes its way back around. Um, this is the on and off switch to the individual reactor, uh, the emergency kill switch, and the master switch. So you can hit that, both turn off. You can have both running at the same time. I was just, this is just to show you that you can work them independently. Um, I'll get into that a bit later. Uh, let's just head upstairs for a second. So basically I've made a display panel for the reactor as well. Uh, so as you can see it says core 1 is on, core 2 is off, the reactor is at a safe temperature and the master kill switch is set to on. Uh, the creeper place lights up when one of the reactors is on as well. Um, yeah, I coded that one. Um, I'll show you that in a second as well. Um, if the reactors were to overheat, this is what basically happens. This is pretty loud, so... Basically it. So yeah, as you can see, hit the uh, emergency kill switch, the reactors turn off, you couldn't see that. Um, water pours over them, and yeah, that's the way that works. I'll just show you some of the behind the scenes stuff. Uh, this is just regulate the ice. All the output for power runs across the back side of it. Um, under here, this is what turns on the reactors. Looks a lot more uh, complex than it is. This is how to turn them on. That's the switches across the back. Now this design was created so you could have like a line of four or five reactors in a row. Um, I've just done two for simplicity. Um, and then that line there runs whoop, up to the computer. I set up. I'll put a code for that so you guys can use it if you want. Um, this is my little ice maker. Generates, sucks the uh, ice from beneath the golem, pumps it into the chest, into the compressors, creates the ice, and then it pumps it straight back down. It needed a fair bit of force to pull it out of the chest, so I made the combustion engines. Uh, I'll just quickly show you the setup I made for that. This is the fuel for the combustion engines and the cooling over there. Um, one issue I am having with this reactor is that it's too powerful. Um, I'm going to have to pull it back a bit or figure out some way of, I'm not sure if you can do the power lines in parallel or anything like that, but uh, if I put this there, it just automatically sizzles the line. Um, yeah, I, I, from what I understand, it's just too powerful. Uh, yeah, thanks for checking out my reactor, um, Scarecrow569, uh, signing off.